first of all, let's just talk about it. <laughs> I know the lighting is not the best and so I've had to whip out my ring light, but the issue with my ring light is that you can see it in my glasses. However, if I don't wear my glasses, I can't see. So we're just gonna roll with it. Um, I'll try not to like do this a bunch, but besties, I gotta be able to see. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sandrine. I post Disney travel content. I talk about Disney World a lot. Disney is my life at this point. So if that is something that interests you, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification because I upload not consistently, but it gets uploaded eventually. Um, and I'm also over on Instagram at magically.sandrine if you're interested in real life, real time Disney postings. Today, which is a very exciting day, I am going to be doing a very highly requested video by not only you guys over here on YouTube, but my people over on Instagram, um, and that is to do an ear collection. So ears. Disney ears are my favorite like excess park accessory, my favorite thing to buy from the parks, my favorite thing to collect as a collector. I love a good ear. And so I've gotten a lot of questions about my ear wall. This is a very statement piece in my room. Um, people want to know how many ears that I have. I genuinely don't know. I don't count. <laughs> um, I just get them. So when I first started collecting ears, I was just Oh my gosh, I need this ear, I need this ear, I need this ear. Now that I have a surplus of ears, I'm very particular about the ears that I get. Um, and so I'm excited to show you guys all of the ears in my collection. I will not be trying on every single pair of ears, although this is an ear video, so I will put one pair on. Um, but I also was thinking about like, how am I going to frame and structure this video? Um, am I going to group the ears in terms of like small shops, Disney ears, international parks, ears, lounge fly, blah, blah, blah. Like how am I going to like do all that? And I just decided I'm just going to go row by row. So right now my ears are on a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about nine by eight ish. So don't multiply that. It's not even. <laughs> Um, but that's just kind of where how they are on my wall and so I'm just going to pick one up show you guys Let you all know where it's from um, and hopefully you guys will enjoy this video And if you are interested in any other kinds of videos Definitely let me know in the comment section down below very fitting I'm wearing my home is where the ears are a shirt from United monograms So I could see my the ring light and my glasses and so we're just going to opt for no glasses for the rest of this video then that means I'm not going to be able to see but I feel like that's a lot better than y'all looking at my ring light reflection it's so annoying so I have four rogue ears that are not quite on my wall I'm at the point now where I don't want to extend my wall I like how it is so I'm at the point now where I'm going to be rotating my ears in and out of the ear wall I also want to declutter some of my ears there are ears that like I've gotten secondhand from other collectors. Some are as gifts, and while I do appreciate them, I don't wear them as much as I do some other ears. And so, if I don't wear them, someone else will. So, I'm not quite at that point of selling, but I am, like I said, at the point where I'm not extending my ear wall anymore. But these four rogue ears are not currently on my wall, so we'll start with these. So the first pair I'm going to show you guys, and I'm not going to go like completely in depth of like every single pair of ears. I'm just going to hold it up and move on. We'd be here all day long. I can already see myself. This is going to be so terrible editing. But my first pair of ears are the Cinderella ears from the Disney parks. These are my newest pair to my collection. These next pair are my favorite. I am very biased when it comes to bobble bar ears. So these are my first pair of bobble bar ears. They are just the pink ears that came out. I don't even know how many years ago. Um, and I am obsessed with them. I wore them in my most recent trip to um, Disney World. So if you're interested in that, check that out. These next two ears I got as gifts from my little brother. He got them for me for Christmas or my birthday. I can't quite remember. But I think I'm going to wear these pair because obviously this is an ear video. I need to have ears on. Also, this curl I feel like would be better 
like laid down on an ear <laughs> so these ears which i think i'm gonna wear like i said are i'm assuming he got these from a small shop on etsy or somewhere um but they are the super comfortable thin headband wire and these are lilo and stitch and they're i would never like purchase ears like these for myself because i genuinely prefer and you guys are going to see later on in this video i prefer pinks and purples and light blues but oh, these are so cute they're lilo and stitch ears so i'm going to wear these for the rest of the video because why not and they're very comfortable and then the other pair are these Maleficent ears and I love these because I don't have a pair of villain ears these are so perfect for Halloween time um, and then again they've got that really nice thin headband style and so love both of these and these are not gonna be removed from my collection anytime soon because I just got them all right here we go first row here's the first row and in that process I knocked over my figment ears so we're just gonna bring him into the party even though he technically starts the second row figment ears from the parks literally so obsessed with these ears um, I know they have new figment ears now I like these better the new ones are too cartoony for me and just not a fan but I love these pair the thing about storing your ears on the wall is that you have to dust them and wipe them down quite frequently so just keep that in mind if you're gonna display your ears like how I do your ears are gonna go a little dusty and by little I mean a lot goodness these are the Buzz Lightyear ears that came out for the Lightyear movie I actually have not worn them yet as noted by the tag although I do want to wear them eventually to Hollywood Studios I mean I need to get a picture with them um, but I got them because a the little light ear symbol in the middle of the bow glows in the dark but also two socks is on it so I feel like you know it's iconic so I will wear these somewhere there's dust flying everywhere now <laughs> because of this bow I will wear these eventually to Hollywood Studios I might actually wear them for my upcoming trip just to get a picture with them and then we'll figure out what else to do with them but I'm so obsessed with these ears these are the green sequin ears from the parks I believe I got these last year I have not worn them to be quite honest with y'all but I will eventually um, so this row of ears are the ears that pair with my lounge flies that I hang on my wall and so currently I have these on top of my Tiana lounge fly so clearly I need to wear them together so eventually I'll wear these to the parks next classic millennial pink ears which the lighting is not gonna do just us but millennial pink cannot go wrong like these these this whole millennial pink line my aesthetic next are the iridescent 50th anniversary ears that came out last year not like but yeah last year for the 50th is it last year now I don't even know. Next are my next favorite bobble bar ears, which I wore this most recent Disney trip. They are the classic black and white polka dot ears, again from bobble bar, and they have pearls going down the side of the headband. Very classy, very elegant, and they've got like little gem accents. I love these ears. These are very good staple ears. Next are ears that I don't wear a ton, and they're super dusty me a second these are the up ears these are the ones that have the little pom-poms in like the silver casing and then you have adventurous out there and then little up house with the soda pop pin as the middle of the center cloud bow and like the headbands are clouds I don't wear these too much although these are perfect animal kingdom ears so you know I'll wear them eventually these are on top of my um, Mickey balloon lounge fly so I'll wear them eventually and I think I, I love that I'm doing this video because I'm starting to get like ideas for my spring trip and these might be coming with me next love these are from a small Etsy shop I don't know if that shop still exists um, I will mention the shops that I know ears are from and then if I don't know I, I don't even know if I could find the link for it, unfortunately, but I'm obsessed with these ears. So they are Eeyore ears, and they have like a light pink bow, and then of course Eeyore stitching. But the thing that I love about it, and you can probably tell, is little tail. I just wish that A, they weren't so top heavy, um, and B, I could remember what shop they're from. 
These are my Color Me Courtney Princess Tiana ears. This is the only thing that I got from the Color Me Courtney line, which I'm kind of sad about. No, I'm lying. I got her um, Tiana mug. Um, but aside from that, those are the two things that I got from her collection. I'm kind of sad about because there were some of the pieces that I wanted to get. Like, I'm obsessed with overalls. And she had a really cute overall that I just couldn't get my hands on. But these ears are gorgeous. They've got pearls on them. And then her crown, her lily pad crown, if you will. And it goes from, like, a white to, like, a dark green. And lastly are another pair of ears that I have not worn yet to the parks. These are the Loungefy Disney Parks ears that are, of course, dusty. Um, these are, I don't know if this, this isn't like the Play in the Parks line. I don't even know. I honestly don't even know why I bought these ears, to be quite honest with you, because they're not typically colors that I would gravitate towards in terms of like shade of blue. Um, but I mean, it's cute. It's got like all of like the cartoonified characters on it. You've got Cinderella's, or is that Sleeping Beauty's castle? Cinderella's castle. Um, and then some other iconic characters like Dopey. Um, you've got Haunted Mansion characters, Hitchhiking Ghost, Hatbox Ghost, Darth Vader, Winnie the Pooh, Mickey the Toy Aliens, and then like I said, this is a lounge fly pair of ears. Um, I just don't see myself wearing these too often. I do want to wear them once, and then after that, these are definitely going to be a pair that I will be more than happy to let go. But these are a part of my collection, so gotta, sh gotta show them to you. So that's the end of the first row. Now on to the second row. These next row of ears, I do color coordinate my ears, and so this next row are all pinks, and well, mostly purples, and tapping into my pinks. I do have one non-purple ear, which I will show you, and that's this one. Disney popped off with the rose gold. Like, I mean, they really like lost their minds with the rose gold and rose gold is my favorite metal so I was very happy to oblige them um but there is like the new the OG rose gold the briar rose gold Disney Cruise Line rose gold and then I call this the new rose gold so this was the newest reiteration iteration reiteration of the rose gold so the ears themselves are rose gold and then the bow is like a pink satin um and so again I wore these on my most recent Disney trip perfect Valentine's ear and you know, you can't go wrong with a rose gold for me because it's a staple metal. Next are a pair of ears. These are the same, I guess Disney was going through like a mermaid sequin phase. So the green ears that I showed you guys are also that same mermaid sequin, but it, this is like the purple version. So it's like purple, but then the sequins kind of like reflect blue. And the thing that I love about these ears is that it is a purple velvet bow. My next pair are my um, Haunted Mansion Madame Leota ears and these are from her universe um so they've got the wallpaper of the haunted mansion which is one of my favorite rides again that velvet purple bow with madame leota in the center and little um safety pins in the bow my mom actually thought i put these in there and i didn't they came with them and then on the back it has this skull skeleton that says foolish mortal um, and then there are studs on the ears. This is such a classic Halloween pair of ears, even though I did not wear them to the parks this past Halloween season when I was there for Not So Scary or when I was there in October. So I don't know, I'll get them eventually. <laughs> um, I wore these in my most recent Disney um, vlog when I was there, like my 48 hours in Disney. These are the ears that I wore to Animal Kingdom. They are the purple potion ears one year disney came out with all different color ranges of merchandise so we had rose gold potion purple arendelle aqua millennial pink green like you know so i have a lot of like these solid color ears because they're great for outfits these next pair of ears i have not worn in the parks but i have worn in my solo trip tips and tricks video that i will leave carded up above these are the live action um Little Mermaid aerial ears. These pair of ears I wore in my very first vlog series. I wore these to Animal Kingdom. They are the Loungefly ears that came out. I don't even know how long ago. Of course, they're dusty. 
um, but these had like a matching lounge fly and a matching wallet and what I love about this is that it has both printed flowers and embroidered flowers on just a super solid purple ear and then stitched on the side it says Disney lounge fly these are another one of the newest pair of my ears. These came out these past summer and I kept looking at them when I was there in July and then when I went back in September I snatched them up because they're a darling. Uh, they're like, can I say lavender? I don't even know. But they are the perfect purple shade um, for the spring slash summer. And I'm not a fan of like the sequin pattern, I'm going to be quite honest with you because it's like a chevron situation. I know that's very particular, but I like the color. so. We'll sacrifice the sequin placement for the color. I more love like an all over like sequin spray, not so much a let's make these with it, you know? Last but not least are these lavender ears. This was back when Disney was doing like their clamshell, I call them clamshell ears where they're like flat, you know? They're not like the poofy style, but these are fun. Um, I haven't worn them in a while, um, but I love the metallic bow in the center and um, the ear itself has like glitter, so it's not quite sequin, it's like a glitter. Now we're getting into the blues part of my wall. I guess I, I went from like black to like pink. I don't even know, or like black to purple. I don't even know, but this is the blue row. These first two pairs of ears, and I'll go ahead and grab both of them, are from the small shop Magic Happenings. I love her small shop because I am an army, BTS, and so she makes really cute BTS inspired ears, and these are both inspired by my bias, one of my biases. I have two now because D-Day Sugar has wrecked my bias with RM. These are the ears, so the first pair are, of course, inspired by RM's solo album Indigo, which I am still obsessed with. It has a chokehold on me. That album is so good, um, but it has Indigo printed. It's like a really pretty denim pattern with the white velvet bow. Again, I'm a sucker for a velvet bow, and then I love the trim on it. And then these are the flowers that are showcased on his album. It's just a vibe. Animal Kingdom, Disney Springs, even Hollywood Studios. These are so good. Disneyland. And then the other pair are um, BTS partnered with Line Friends, which is the messaging app, and they have this whole BT21 line. I have Cream Cosmetics BT21 <laughs> stuff, so. You know, I can't I can't get enough of it. I love it. So um, Magic Happenings came out with all of the characters. And of course, RM to my bias, I had to get Koya. So this is him. But I wore these this past summer, 4th of July. They work so perfectly with my outfit. To any one person, this just looks like a koala. But to ARMY, of course, this is Koya. Sticking with small shops, I bought this on Etsy a long time ago. Unfortunately, I do not have the information for this ear. So I do apologize, but it is a spaceship earth print um not my favorite pair of ears um i don't wear these a ton i wore these in 2022 i believe and i haven't worn them since because i feel like that's when i bought them um but they just have spaceship earth printed on the ears with this really pretty um millennial pink bow i would say that's like the shade and then my other spaceship earth pair which i do get a lot of wear out of are these these are the official disney park spaceship earth ears that they came out with one year because we of course are obsessed with disney walls a good printed construction wall or a permanent wall these are of course the bubblegum wall ears this bubblegum wall is outside of um, spaceship earth so when you come out of spaceship earth turn around and you'll see this wall <laughs> um and so you can't go wrong with these ears i'm obsessed with them next are these blue ears that came out this past summer or spring i want to say from last year um it's just like a solid blue with a gem like bow um i wore these in November with my family to Phantasmic. I don't get a, a like I said, these are another pair of ears that I just don't wear too often because this shade of blue is very loud. Um, and I bought these off of Shop Disney so I couldn't see these in person. If I saw these in person, I don't know if I would necessarily buy them, but I have them. These pairs of ears I just consider as a collector's item. I will wear these one day, but I just, I love Epcot. Epcot is my favorite park. And I just saw these UK pavilion ears and I was like, I need it. Um, so, I mean, it's also perfect for flower and garden. So it's got 3D blue and white rosettes, the Union Jack and the Queen 
the crown in the middle just you know and on the back it has printed rosettes these ears are lovingly nicknamed the Bath and Body Works ears because they look like the Bath and Body Works bag. So these came out, I don't know what year for spring, um, and it just has the gingham with the printed flowers. Once again, staple for flower and garden. And again, I haven't worn these ears yet as noted by the tag, so I will wear them eventually. These are small world ears. I got these as a gift and I was going to give them away, but they're classic. So these are from the Disney parks. They just say hello on one side and goodbye on the other. And I'm not a huge small world person, but these ears are very cute. Then the one year that Disney did the Minnie Mouse Main Attraction line where they did um, like merchandise based off of 12 attractions around the park. The Minnie Mouse one was the most popular. I, of course, was the crazy person and trying to get as many ears as I could from that line. I believe I have four pairs from that line. So this is the first pair. These are the Regal Carousel ears and they're adorable. Of course, they came out with a Mickey Mouse main attraction one, but I don't have any merchandise from that line because it's a bit much. I am a Minnie Mouse ear person in terms of bow like my ears need to have a bow I know some people like cut the middle part off and make it like a Mickey ear but I am a mini ear girl through and through like I need to have something in the middle of my ears and so the Minnie Mouse Man attraction was more my speed this next row has a mix of pink ears solid color ears and character ears um, this is a really random row it are these pairs of ears that I wore on my most recent trip and I got them, Lord knows how long ago, but they are perfect for springtime. So they have a purple, like, I don't even know how to describe the shade of purple sequin ear with a polka dot pink satin bow. Um, these are my second pair of Minnie Mouse Man Attraction ears. These are the Small World Minnie Mouse Man Attraction ears. These are my favorite Small World ears. These ears, are staple spring flower garden ears these are I got them 2021 I don't even know Disney Park ears and they just are floral ears these ears I got for um, my bound or my costume for not so scary this past October um, and y'all saw these in the not so scary vlog they are the Marie ears from a small shop that I still believe I have a link for so I will link down below and as y'all saw they do light up once again Disney was doing their solid color ear line and so these are the Arendelle aqua ears um, just a simple classic sequin bow in the Arendelle Elsa colorway these ears are super fun I know now that they're doing like the whole Disney Parks snack line which to me is not my thing very tacky in my opinion but different strokes for different folks I do want the ice cream sandwich pillow so if anybody knows where I can get that ice cream sandwich pillow please let me know I cannot eat ice cream sandwiches but I want that pillow so bad but everything else from the line miss me with it but um so it's just funny that I have these ears these are not from the snacks line these came out I don't know what year, um, but they are the Mickey Donuts. I'm not going to show them too close because there is a sticky um, layer on these ears that they put to hold the sprinkles. The sprinkles still shed, um, but they have collected fuzz and dust on the sticky layer. And so I don't want to show y'all too close, but... I don't wear these to the parks often, if at all. Uh, maybe they're fun for like food and wine, but like I said, the dust situation, just you're traveling with them, you get dust on them, you get dirt on them from the parks. It just is not cute. Also the sprinkles shed, so I have to figure out how to seal the sprinkles and that's too much work. Like at that point, I'm just gonna sell them, so. These pair are so fun. They're my first resort ears. Um, and these are the Art of Animation ears. I showed these in my solo vlog. <laughs> My very first vlog, a lot of these ears are featured from, but I bought me and my friend a pair. These are the Art of Animation ears that turn pink out in the sun. I've never stayed at Art of Animation, but these ears are so cute and so fun, so I had to get them. Next are the 100th ears. Love these. I wore these ears for the 100th day of school along with my 100th Years of Wonder spirit jersey. They're just so cute, so classic. Definitely giving me Spaceship Earth with the ears. Um, and they have the 100th medallion in the 
center bow with the 100 Years of Wonder down the headband. From this row, speaking of Tomorrowland, um, they came out with the whole Tomorrowland line and so these are the ears from that line. I wear these ears quite often. They are so fun, perfect to take pictures in front of the um, purple galaxy wall over in Tomorrowland. So, you know, love these. Wish they said Tomorrowland down the headband. I'm a sucker for anything written on a headband, you know. Next row, we are halfway up. Oh, stop shaking. We're halfway up my ear wall. We have three more rows left after this row. So let's just go ahead and get started. This first pair is from Disneyland, Disneyland, Disneyland Shanghai Resort. I wore these ears um, to um, Garden Grill when I went with my family in November. And Mickey loved these ears. They have like confetti in them, which is super fun. So it's like a little interactive moment. I will say these are not the most comfortable to wear. Um, but in terms of like ear, and obviously these are from Shanghai Resort, which is a resort that I want to go to so bad. Um, but if you're an ear collector and you love a good ear, you know, this is just like a staple in your collection. These are the Valentine's Day ears that came out last year. Of course, Hong Kong Disneyland has so many different colors of these ears. We in the States only got this shade. So um, I really want the white and purple pair that they have over in Hong Kong. But these are the pair of ears that I wore for Valentine's, my Valentine's Day trip this past year. And I love them. Bought these in 2022. They are, I don't wanna say they're Disney princess ears, but obviously like that's what they're getting at, right? So you've got this baby pink sequin ear with the tiara in the center. Once again, not a huge Mickey ear person. So I wouldn't necessarily say that these are like Mickey ears cause there is something in the middle, but you technically could say that because there's no bow. Um, but these are cute. Now we're getting back into the whole rose gold thing. Disney was on like a rose gold, they're, them and rose gold, there was something going on with them. This is a cruise line rose gold. So it has a rose gold sequin ear with the bow in the center, it's like a navy blue with rose gold Mickey anchors. I have not been on Disney Cruise yet, but when I go on Disney Cruise, I will be wearing these ears. And I also wear these ears around the park. I should have brought these ears for when I stayed at the Yacht Club. These are perfect Yacht Club ears. I regret my decision now. Anyway, these rose gold ears I bought from a small shop. I don't know the name of the small shop, so I unfortunately will not be linking it down below. They are a rose gold sequin ear with a rose gold satin bow. These are the rose gold ears that started it all. These are the OG rose gold ears. Um, I feel like now you can find these fairly easily, especially secondhand. Um, I get all of my ears that I cannot find or collector's item ears from Mercari. So if you're looking for a pair of ears, definitely buy them off of Mercari, but don't like buy them at like $50, like come on. Um, but if there's an ear that you've really been eyeing and you can't find them in the parks or you can't get them anymore because they're not sold anymore, Mercari is a great place to look. Um, but at the time, these were so coveted and so hard to find. Like people went feral over this rose gold line and reasonably so because it's very cute and another staple in your ear collection. These ears are very special to me. I bought these ears um, when I graduated from grad school. Um, I will never wear these ears ever again. They will remain on my ear wall for forever, but they're just like a three printed year with 2020 graduation cap in the center what a year but yeah these will I'll never wear these to the park these are the Riviera ears a lounge uh, the, yeah they're lounge flight ears and so they just have like a light pink ear again that whole macaron flat ear situation and then it has hints of the Riviera with the Riviera Resort logo in the center. These are these ears that I love. I show these in detail in my pack with me for my first solo, not solo, it was not my first solo trip, but my first trip that I posted on YouTube. Um, and these are from, cannot remember the shop, Gleam and Glimmer and they are a pink satin ear with um, pearls and some of the pearls have Mickey's but the reason why I got them is because of the back. So darling, so cute, so romantic. Um, again, a Mickey ear but they're special Mickey ears so they're tolerated in my collection. 
These ears are from Disney Parks. They are an orange ear, which is very rare for me. Orange is my least favorite color, but I got these because it's flower and garden. So there's like an orange ear with flowers on each of the ears. These ears are from that same small shop that made the rose gold ears. They are just a sequin black ear with a classic pink Minnie Mouse bow. Can't go wrong with it. They are just the classic Minnie Mouse ear with the red bow. But I don't wear these a ton. These are just a collector's piece at this point on my wall. These are, I was gonna say these are lounge fly, but they're not. These came out Christmas 2022 or three. Um, I wore these to my very first Christmas party. This is also the ears that are in my channel picture. So they are just a plaid ear with uh, Mickey and the gang skiing. This is another pair of ears from my Minnie Mouse main attraction. These are big Thunder Mountain Railroad ears. I have the matching magic band which I wore in my past July trip and so these are the ears that accompany that. Um, so it's just got hints of Big Thunder Mountain Railroad on the bow and on the ears and then on like the actual headband there are little train tracks. Next, these are Epcot International Food and Wine Ears from 2021. Um, wore these in uh, my most recent vlog when I went back in September. I love these because they're apple barrels. These are my American flag ears, um, perfect for 4th of July or taking pictures in the America Pavilion and I still don't know why we have an America Pavilion in Epcot, but whatever. Um, never worn these ears, probably won't. I definitely am okay with letting these go. Um, again, the color scheme, it's just these are just not the pair of ears that I would gravitate towards, but I have them, they're in my collection, so have these. These ears are so fun, even though the tassel is such a paint in the boute. These are the Tower of Terror ears from Loungefly, and I wore these in November. I did like a really cute bound, um, but yeah, y'all, this tassel, not fun. Really not fun. It always ended like it's shedding, so yeah. But I love the ear because it's velvet. Um, and then these, which are classic. I feel like a lot of people have this ear. I don't wear this ear too much, but I feel like I should. These are like a navy blue pink polka dot ear with a sequined um, pink bow. I am losing steam and losing it very quickly. Um, but after this one, we have one more. You guys can hear me, I'm out of breath. <laughs> this is more difficult than I thought it would be. So this is just gonna be so much fun editing, I already know, but last two rows. So the first pair from this row are from a small shop. I don't have the small shop, unfortunately, anymore. Um, but these pair of ears are so cute. And the thing that I love about these ears is that they say Andy on the back. Perfect! I love them so much. Um, and I don't go to Hollywood Studios too often, so I don't wear my Toy Story character ears as often as I would like. But when I do go, these ears typically are the pair that I bring with me. Um, but I need to break out my light ears because they're getting very neglected. These ears, so fun. They're the Lemoncello ears from Epcot. And they say salute or saluti on the headband. These ears are from the small shop Mickey and Mandy. I love them because they are giving Louis Vuitton without being Louis Vuitton, but they're like Disney Louis Vuitton. And so I have worn these to Animal Kingdom and I've worn them also in the summer. They're just a great ear to just wear anywhere. These would be a great Disney Springs ear too. Final pair of bobble bar ears. These are coarse Tiana. Like, come on, I, I could not not get these when I saw them. Um, and again, they're bobble bar and I love a good bobble bar ear. They're very well made and super cute and very fashionable. And so always get tons of compliments when I wear these. These are very classic Tiana ear. If you love Tiana, you need these ears in your collection ASAP. Next are my new, one of my new pairs. These are the Animal Kingdom ears that they came out with this year. And they say Disney's Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom is my second favorite park. I love Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom and Epcot, Animal, what did I just say? Animal Kingdom and Epcot are the two parks that I go to all the time without fail. Just, that's just where I'm at. Hollywood Studios and Magic Kingdom are even neglected by me just because they're not my favorite parks. There's a lot going on at both of those parks, but Animal Kingdom vibes are a vibe. 
and so I got these because you know it's my park these colors not my colors a lot going on giving Animal Kingdom definitely pairing with just a simple denim outfit so I have not yet broken these ears out because there's a lot going on with the colors but you guys these ears are so you know what I have a green t-shirt dress that I wore um to Animal Kingdom recently or like a tan t-shirt dress with these ears these ears are my very first ears. These ears are circa 20, 2009. When I went in 2006, I got a princess, I don't have it anymore. It was like a princess hat, like cone hat, and it had like a little veil. I wasn't quite into ears yet, but these ears I got in 2009 started it off. Once again, Animal Kingdom, they are the pink cheetah ears. Again, these are when Disney was not making um, ears for adults, so these are definitely kid size, super uncomfortable to wear. But you guys, these are the ears that started it off, and I feel like I have to wear them now. Like the, these are the ears, like this was back when I let them cut the tag off. Now if it's a Disney Park ear, you're not cutting the tag off. Like no, 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 no. They're so uncomfortable though. So we won't be in them for long, but you guys, come on. They made giraffe ones that are very similar, but these, these are the ears that started off. And actually not that uncomfortable, I actually have like the purple and pink polka dot lavender ears are more uncomfortable than these, but I'll wear these for the rest of the video. These ears are came out during the 100th. These are Disneyland ears, so they have the Disneyland D on them, and they're super cute. They've got icons specific to the Disneyland park, which I haven't been to Disneyland. Like I said, was supposed to go in February, didn't work out. Hopefully I'll be there in June, but when I do, I have worn these to Epcot, but I feel like these obviously would be perfect for Disneyland because they're Disneyland ears. These ears are the yellow ears. It's not that I don't like them, I just don't wear yellow. But again, I was at the point where every time Disney came out with a solid color collection, I had to get it because, you know, outfits. So these are just a solid yellow, yellow ear. If I want to wear a yellow ear, I will wear my limoncello ears, but I'll wear these in the summer one time. They're very cute. I think I wore these in July, to be quite honest with you, with my t-shirt dress. So they've gotten some wear and tear, but. My other 3D printed, I don't even know if you can call this 3D printed, 3D printed-esque ear. Um, listen, me, me and Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts is like, listen, <laughs> I love Kingdom Hearts, the lore of Kingdom Hearts. And so I saw these on Etsy and I was like, besties, I need that. I need that so bad. These are not available anymore. Trust me, I've looked. Um, look, look, look. I mean, come on. If you're a Kingdom Hearts fan, you need to go on Etsy right now and see who else is selling Kingdom Hearts ears. You need these, you guys. So it has Sora's, but I call it the vanilla keyblade. So this is the original keyblade you get all the time this of course is the kingdom hearts emblem and then we have another emblem in the center of sora's this is sora's og outfit colorway um the yellow and blue okay here we go you guys can see the step stool that i had to use to get up there hopefully you won't see it I'm standing in front of it um last row last row last row if you've been keeping count of how many ears i have let me know in the, in the comments down below. Ugh. Last row. These are the Tweed and Pearl ears, which are great for Valentine's Day. They're very edgy. They're like a leather ear with pearl Mickeys on the ear. And then of course the Tweed bow. It's different. It's got texture. Um, I love it. These ears are super fun. I don't wear them a ton. They definitely give Hollywood Studios and because I don't go to Hollywood Studios a ton, these ears are very neglected, but they're so fun. They're from Loungefly. Um, and they are like a, a pleather ear, but they are a classic um, Minnie Mouse balloon. Next are another pair from Mickey and Mandy, and I love these because they're a Haunted Mansion wallpaper, not wallpaper, this is the stretching room, right? So it's got all the portraits from the people who have um, gone astray and why they ended up in the Haunted Mansion um, in the stretching room. And again, love a black velvet bow. I love a velvet bow, clearly, if we couldn't 
come up with that. <laughs> um, summary, I just, I love these ears. I don't wear them a ton. They're definitely, for me, like a Halloween ear, and I don't go a ton during Halloween time. Um, but perfect for a Haunted Mansion bound as well, because they're very subtle. Like, they don't scream Haunted Mansion ears like my Haunted Mansion Madame Leota purple ears. But if you look at them, you're like, oh, that's, that's the wallpaper. So, again, Mickey and Mandy, love them, love their shop, and love these ears. These ears, um, I got as a gift, and they're on this, like, white string, because that's how they have to be hung on my ear wall. Um, definitely will be giving these away. Um, not my style of ear, um, but I have them. So these are from, I believe, Disneyland Shanghai, potentially. Um, and they're cute. Um, they've got the little hat as the bow, and then, like, of course, the classic velvet ear. I got these from the same seller who um, I got the pink um, Shanghai ears from I think she just threw these in the package as like a thank you but this is not my style of ear um, not my go-to so definitely we'll be getting rid of these at some point which I will link down below um, they're also linked in my stories under my ears selection but um, I have clear ear holders or I call them ear holders but they're clear holders that I get from Amazon like I get like a huge box of them um, that all of my ears rest on. These don't rest on those, so, yeah. Anyway, they're cute though. These are the last pair of ears from the Minnie Mouse main attraction, and these were the last pair, or the last line, last selection, I don't know. These came in, in December, right? The last month of the collection. These are the fireworks ears. Um, these are Aurora, this is Aurora's castle. So, you know, but love them. I think I got these in like 2019, I wanna say. These are the silver and gold Cinderella's castle. They did come out with a Sleeping Beauty's castle version um, sequin ear. So again, Classic silver. I don't have any silver sequin ears, so these are perfect uh, for as terms of like variety of my ear collection. So it's a silver sequin with this isn't necessarily gold. I would describe this as more champagne, and then Cinderella's castle right in the center. Last two ears, which I have gotten. I don't want to say recently, but I would say this past year I've gotten these two. So these ears I bought to commemorate. I can't talk. These ears I got to commemorate becoming an annual pass holder. I got these off of Mercari. They do not sell these in the parks. And if they have, I haven't seen them in a long time. But again, not my go-to colorway scheme. I did wear these in the past summer and I have worn these in a vlog. I'll link them down below. But they are like a royal blue, pink and gold ear sequin, which is super fun. Like a very unique sequin pattern. And then of course the blue bow with the pass holder charm in the middle and like as soon as I became an annual pass holder after that fiasco which I will link that coffee chats above as well um I went online to see if I could find these and I found these for a really good price on Mercari so I was like well need those last but not least are my last resort ear and I love pop even though my most recent stay at pop was not the best I love pop century it held special memories in my heart I am giving pop century a rest I do recommend all-star mu music I always get them mixed up all I do recommend all-star music over pop century and I can talk about that in another coffee chats so if you want me to talk about that let me know um I, I just have my reasons but I got the pop ears because I love pop. So these ears are from Pop Century. I will never, I don't wanna say never, I will rarely wear these ears. Um, like the Hollywood Studios uh, and Pop Century is where I would wear these ears. Um, they're very niche, very colorful, super hard to style in my opinion. But as a collector's item, perfect. Um, I, I don't want to collect every resort ear. That's ridiculous. But if I do stay at a resort and they do have an ear, I feel like now I want to buy it. So I know Riverside has an ear that I should go back and get. The Boardwalk, even though I was not a fan of the Boardwalk, I feel like I should go get those lounge fly ears. They really need to come out with Beach and Yacht Club ears. They need to make an ear for every resort. Just like they had make pens, make an ear for every resort because I would buy them. Other people would buy them. Like... There are other crazy ear people like me. And so these are the last pair of ears that will be featured in my collection video. 
Oh, we have finally made it to the end. If you lasted this entire video, you are a real one. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite pair of ears are. If you have a dream pair of ears that you're looking to get, um, let me know. Start the conversation down below. Once again, I am over on Instagram at magically.sandrine, as well as don't forget to like, comment, like I said, and subscribe for any current and future Disney travel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.